Hello, Sam from Tool Hut here today. We have a good uh, case study, I believe, today. It's a 2003 Ford Taurus. The shop has replaced the powertrain control module and it is getting an error code when they attempt to program it. I am going to attempt to program it with my IDS. Not real sure how they were trying to program it. All I know is they were getting a code. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open your IDS and it, like it always does, it's going to come up and ask you what you want to do with your previous car. So we're going to go through this just like we're going to program it for the first time. We're going to start a new session, all others. It's going to ID the vehicle here. It is a Taurus. It's a pre-2005 Ford, so it's not going to pull the VIN. It does not have traction assist. I can't find a button on the dash anywhere for traction assist. So we're going to tell it no. It is a 50 state emissions 3 liter cam in engine or cam in block type of engine. So yes, that is correct. It's going to do a network test here gathering some some data from the rest of the vehicle. And now it says complete down there, so we can go up to our toolbox. We're going to go to module programming, program of module installation, and the PCM. It always tells me my database may be out of date. I'm in the aftermarket, so I don't need the very latest calibrations in it. I don't always keep it right up to date, so it says install the new module in the vehicle. There's some warnings about the fuel pump going to run and the cooling fan's going to run. Uh, I got a battery maintainer on it, so I'm not real concerned. So this is where you get your first code. I have found these older Fords, the pre-05 Fords, do not like a lot of battery voltage when you're, main, when you're programming them. So I have a variable voltage maintainer. I bring the voltage down to 12 and a half volts. Let the car set for a minute, maybe turn the headlights on. And then I'll try it again. And usually, after I try it again, it works the second time. Just like it does on this one. So the only thing I have changed is the voltage in my maintainer is down and I have brought the battery voltage down. I have sped up the programming process so you don't have to watch the blue bar. It tells you to turn the key off. Now, because this new computer was in the vehicle prior to me arriving we did not start with the original module there is some programmable parameters that need to be done you are going to get that same error when programming the parameters I handled the second error a little different than the first one so we're going to choose our acceleration and tire size it's going to fail I know it's going to fail there's not a lot I can do about it at this point I have to finish their process so key on, engine off, key on, engine off a couple of different times. Here's my error code. Uh, I'm going to tell it no, I don't want to try again because I know it's going to fail again. Typically, if you get the error in the beginning, you get it at the end as well. So don't have no fear. Just got a little bit different procedure at the the beginning and once I tell it off it does have you or no I don't want to try it again it does have you try a couple of times anyway and it's eventually going to say PCM programming aborted the PCM is programmed the only thing we didn't get done was our tire size and axle ratio so have no fear I always start the vehicle let the vehicle run for a minute or so and take my maintainer right off the vehicle typically the Programming the parameters does not take that long to do. So I will program the parameters with the battery voltage uh, getting closer to 12 volts. After I've started to run it, it's going to have me turn the key off again here. Doesn't really matter where you start it, somewhere. Then we're going to just choose programmable parameters, tire size, axle ratio. 
I'm just going to hit the X on this box because I want to just choose a standard axle ratio. Same thing with the tire size, it's going to pop up that box. I'm just going to choose the stock tire size 215 6016. Hit the tick mark, key off. Gonna have me turn the key on again. Should be a fairly fast program. It is. I did not speed that part of it up, so that's how long it took to do. As you turn the key on, I do go in and clear the codes when I'm done here because of the error process that happened. It does cause some code sometimes. So I go in and check all the codes and clear them as necessary. Uh, but essentially we're done with this vehicle. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to get some more programming videos. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.